Hi guys. Okay, it is very hot today, very bright and everything. Um, we are going to test the 25.4 grain um, Inferno slugs. It is the first uh, 0.18 slugs that Inferno made. So um, yeah, this is a hollow point with a flat base. Um, so we are going to test that. It is a bit windy, not not too bad, but it's, it's a little bit windy and it is insanely hot. Uh, it has been raining here for the last, I don't know, <laughs> two, three weeks um, and a lot of um, bad uh, weather, um, a lot of uh, wind and stuff. But now it has given me a little opportunity to shoot a bit. So I'm going to uh, test these slugs. As usual, we will start on 100 meters, uh, shoot from power level uh, minimum to power level 5, uh, see uh, see what it does, and then we will push it out to 165 meters and then to 210 meters. So, I'm going to shoot a few shots um, just to get on target. Uh, sorry for the squinting, it is very bright. Um, and yeah the grass is quite quite long so we'll see um, if that affects us and there's a lot of flies and um, uh, mosquitoes and stuff so yeah uh, let's let's get to shooting <laughs> I see it's uh, shooting quite a lot to the right. Um, I will continue shooting while I'm aiming and then I will just hold. Uh, I'll do the second shot on the first target. Okay, so that wasn't uh, too bad. Uh, let's just maybe put it a bit more. Uh, bit more right left okay now let's go to power level one i'm going to shoot on the first target and um yeah see what it does okay it did not like uh power level one much uh, let's get to power level 2. Well, that didn't look too bad. Uh, the wind is blowing quite a bit now. I'm pushing it um, quite a lot uh, left now. Um, it was a bit right, but now the wind is pushing it quite, quite a lot left. Um, put in some new slugs and then we are going to go to power level 3. Okay, um, not exactly sure what, what happened there. That one felt a bit, a bit low the first one and then the rest were a bit high. Um, but it didn't look too bad. Let me just do another shot. So I would say that's not too bad, the wind is blowing um, and um, it's coming towards me and a bit skew so it is blowing up and down so that is going to make a difference. Um, but going to power level 4 and see what it does there. It's between power level 3 and 4, I think. Um, well, let's go to power level 5, see what that does. Okay. I think I might have pulled that one. Uh, these flies are flipping annoying. Uh, we will go and look a bit closer 
and decide um, which power setting to use but I think it's going to be between um, power level uh, 3 and 4 maybe okay so uh, here is the result on the target as you can hear the wind is a bit crappy um, I would say maybe power level 4 power level 3 also looked good um, power level 1 it's a bit there power level 2 was around there power level 3 but that wasn't too bad actually power level 4 Okay, so my camera decided to stop recording audio. Um, I really, really do not like Samsung. Um, but yeah, uh, I decided to go with power level three. Okay, now we are going to go for the 165 meters. Um, yeah, uh, let me just give this roughly where it should be, I think, uh, about there. Um, that should uh, put us on target but we will see uh, these slugs did shoot a bit high so we will just um, see where they shoot so I'm going to get on target then we'll start the 10 shot grouping okay first shot on target so let's do 10 more I kept hitting the wire so I just decided to change my point of aim and after that it looked a lot better uh, these slugs do pretty well in the wind Um, okay, so there is way more than 10. Um, I just shot until I, um, I found basically a place where it didn't hit the, hit the wire. So that, that looks like a very, very good grouping. Um, we'll go and check that and then we'll push it out to 210 meters. Um, uh, in all honesty, I only have this left and I think there's two more slugs in there and maybe three more in the magazine so we'll try our best oh, these these flies sorry um we'll try our best on um on 210 um to get on target and everything luckily these slugs are pretty flip and accurate um this is the first time that uh, inferno made uh, the 0.218s usually uh, they always had 217s they were pretty good especially the 29 grain rebated bow tails they did exceptionally well but I have to say, these also do pretty well, especially in the wind and in the conditions that we have today. So, let's go and see on target. Okay, there we have the grouping. I would say that is not bad. Um, I can cover that with my palm, basically. Uh, so, I would say that is a pretty good grouping. 
Um, the wind is coming and going, coming and going and also has some strong gusts. So for a little 25 grain um, slug that is pretty good on 165 meters. Um, so yeah, now we are going to push it out to 210 meters. Okay, so now it's 200 meters. Um, I have six shots uh, loaded um, and then I still have a full full mag. Um, so we are going to try and get on target. <laughs> um, usually there is some dust at the bottom that I can shoot at and then I can see where I need to aim and stuff. But now I just need to aim at the target so we'll try and see. Um, I will also try and get a bigger target at the back um, for for the future. Um, it's just a pain to move it the whole time and everything with the smaller one I can just leave it there. Um, bigger stuff is more eye-catching and more um, bigger chance to get stolen. That's unfortunately the, <laughs> the main reason that I don't have big nice targets is they just steal the stuff. So yeah, um, let's uh, let's shoot, see where it hits, and try and get a grouping. Okay, so we are on target. Just going to keep aiming there and see what happens. As you can hear, the wind is quite strong. Um, unfortunately, uh, when I start to do the, the tests, then the wind is not that bad, and then I have to carry out everything and do the test. And by the time it's 200 meters turn, then the wind is just crazy. So this is the results. I'm gonna leave it there. Um, there is a whole bunch of shots that hit. Um, the wind is very bad. <laughs> it's not uh, for a 25 grain slug. Um, the wind is really screwing it around. Um, where I was aiming on 150 meters, the wind did push a bit, but um, it wasn't too much. But now I was holding almost uh, three and a half mil dots for wind. Um, on that distance. So the wind is coming, I would say, almost uh, directly from um, from right to left and then just um, just pushing the, the slug all, all over the place. Um, I'm trying to hold steady the same, but then it just, you saw some, some hit and then they just, they just move off. So I would say um, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. 25 grain little slug, 25. Uh, 0.4 grain um, inferno hollow point slash flat base um, no like a like a sluggy proudly South African um, let's go and see on the 200 meter target uh, what it looks like okay so um, there we have the 210 meter grouping one two three four five six seven eight shot I think that might uh, that might be a nick, so we'll count that nine. I think there's ten, so I think we got ten, ten on target. Um, also did hear a couple of nicks on the um, on the board, uh, on the on the um, post. So yeah, okay. So 210 meters for this little slug um, is doable. Wouldn't recommend hunting and stuff on, on this range with it. You can tune, maybe make it a bit better. Um, but still, um, you can blink and stuff. Uh, the wind is coming and going, coming and going. So I don't know if you'll be able to hear me. And the mosquitoes are chowing my back. So, um, yeah, um, 
I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you have any questions, you can just leave it in the comments down below. If you um, have any ideas for future videos, you can also leave it in the comments down below. And um, I will do a bit more hunting and stuff. I'm just waiting for some slugs. But um, as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.